Hello, AARC members and fellow respiratory therapists. I'm Carl Hinkson, AARC president. Today, I am joined by AARC executive director, Dan Garrett. Hey, Carl, great to be here. The AARC board of directors recently met to discuss the awesome things that have been happening in the organization and where we are headed. Yeah, since the adoption of our strategic plan last year, uh, AARC staff immediately began to align their goals and projects with the plan and all of our committees. Today, we're just going to give you a quick snapshot of our path and where we are in the new era of AARC. But I want to preface, this is just a sampling of the work AARC is doing each day. Specifically, regarding our strategic pathway of engage. The Board of Directors and AARC staff members participated in Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Training, otherwise known as DEI. We have been working with the McKinley Advisors to discover how we can improve and best serve our members. This inclusiveness was recognized as an important strategic objective for the association when we put together this strategic plan. We are also engaged in several recruitment efforts, which include developing student programming, staff and leader members, recently took part in a workshop to begin our rebranding efforts. 2023 is filled with exciting new programs. Be sure to stay tuned to the AARC News for more details. Yes, and likewise, under our strategic pathway of Elevate, we've made big strides in public relations. We've received over 50 media placements with top tier agencies and broadcast outlets. And we recently announced 29 organizations received our prestigious APEX designation. Congratulations to all APEX designees. Carl has also worked to create a P APRT task force that is working to advance the profession. And we're doing this by building relationships and working with other allied health organizations. Much work has been done regarding our advocate pathway including the implementation of new software for our advocacy efforts that many of you may have already interacted with. The Allied Healthcare Workforce Diversity Act, which passed at the end of 22, was a big win for our profession after a few years of working on it. We are also exploring compact licensure with our compact licensure task force. In addition to this, the AARC met with CMS to discuss a number of issues, including oxygen reform. Our advocacy team is always working to expand patient access to respiratory therapists. Yes, and for our educate pathway, in 2022, we completed three new clinical practice guidelines, otherwise known as CPGs. And this year, our work begins in the CPG area to look at the topic of pediatric critical asthma. We're busy in uh, developing and implementing resources for respiratory care research and other exciting initiatives in this vein. But today we can't go into all the details due to time. But let's just say there's much to look forward to this year. And this does not include the work all of you do every day to advance the profession and scope of respiratory therapy. Together, we're working to enhance our engagement with you and elevate the profession. We do this with unique educational opportunities that help you provide the best patient care and make you a success in your career. This is an exciting year for the AARC and our membership as we continue in these endeavors. That's all for today. We will be back with more exciting updates in the weeks to come.